thy, uh, thy that are highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what matter of solicitation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. Jesus. Let us talk a little while this morning, my brothers and my sisters, on the subject, living so God can use you. Living so God can use you. When God want to get uh, his message across or uh, over to the world, he needs someone he can faithfully use. So I stopped by this morning just to remind you that God wants to use you. God's hands, my brothers and sisters, is your hands. A God mouthpiece is your mouthpiece. His feet to run an errand for God is your feet. And the only Jesus and God that the world is going to see is uh, the Jesus and God that lives in you. We are his ambassadors. We run errands for the Lord. And I stopped by this morning just to remind you, why don't you let God use you? Use you. In the Bible, God used many characters to carry his message or bring his plan in existence. And here in these passages of scripture here, we see he is using Mary. And his method would be through the angel Gabriel. God had uh, many methods. Uh, you don't know how God is going to show up. He used angel Gabriel to tell Mary she is highly favored of God. And that God wants to use, he wants to use her uh, for a special task. God want to use you this morning. Uh, and, and, and this special task that God want to use Mary for were that he wanted her to use her to bring the Messiah, the Messiah, Jesus, into the world. And I don't know about you this morning, but I am so glad about it, that Jesus came into the world and brought forth salvation. And he used, not that Mary was higher than any of uh, the prophets or any other the servants of God, but God, she was special and favored, highly favored and to God because she brought forth the Messiah into the world. That's what makes the difference. Uh, so I stopped by this morning just to remind you, why don't you let God uh, use you? The question we ask this morning, are you willing to be used by God for his service? Some, uh, some of us might say, well, uh, I'm not uh, qualified. I'm not qualified uh, to be used by God. No, none of us are qualified. God is the only one that would qualify us to be used. If God calls you for a special task within or out of the church, he will prepare you and fix you and mold you and shape you to carry the job on. The question we ask this morning, are you willing to be used? You gotta have that willingness and desire to be used by God. 
Uh huh. God is good. I stop by and to remind you that most biblical characters wasn't qualified uh, to carry out any of the tasks for God. Until he qualifies us, then you will be qualified. Moses believed that he was not qualified to carry out the mission for God uh, to deliver the children of Israel from out of the hands of, of Pharaoh. He, he, he reluctant, was reluctant to go to Egypt uh, to speak before uh, Pharaoh. His excuse, his excuse before God was that, God, I cannot even speak well. I cannot even speak well. I'm not qualified to do this task. Can I get a witness? But God said, look, Moses, who made your mouth peace? Who made your mouth? I made your mouth. Who made you? Who made uh, your head? I made your head. So God is the one that who will qualify you to do any job. And Moses decided that he would humble himself out before the Lord and he would go forth on to Egypt. And let God use you. Why don't you let God use you today? What, 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 what it is your talent? What it is your gift uh, that God uh, can use you? Ask God. Now, humble yourself before God and pray to God that he might bless you, that he might lead you, and that he might guide you. None of us can do any of the tasks or any tasks for God except God be with you. Can I get a witness? See, in order to be used by God, one must honor himself before God and realize the mission is not about you, but it's about God. It is about God. When we preach the gospel, it is not about the preacher. Uh, when, we, when, we, when we serve in the house of God, it is not about the saints, but it's about God. And if God calls you, God will prepare. He will prepare you. Even today, God want to use, he want to use us, just like he used Moses, just like he used Mary, just like he used Mary in this chapter, just like he used the Apostle Paul, just like he used Isaac, and many other biblical characters, God used them, because the only God that you would see is the God servant who God sent into the world. No man ever seen God, no man that will look upon God and live. This is what the scripture teaches us. So God want to use us. I want you to think about it. When was the last you had been a blessing to God's kingdom by allowing God to use you? When was the last you visited the sick? When was the last uh, uh, you serve others in the community? When was the last you ran and uh, ran, ran the errand for the Lord? God wants to use you. The only God the only Jesus that the world is going to see is that Jesus in you. God used many. When one is called to be used by God, it's not going to be easy every day. There will be trials and there will be tribulation. Even though Mary was highly favored by God, now to be highly favored by God doesn't mean that you're not going to have hardship, trial, sorrow, or tribulation. This is because you are highly favored by God. Now his blessings on Mary, uh, the honor, the honor of being the mother of the Messiah will lead to much pain and suffering. Mary was on the run. When Jesus was born into the world, God kept in contact with Joseph and Mary. The God appeared to uh, the Joseph and said, look, take the baby. Now you got to run. Pharaoh, he, he seek to kill the baby. And Mary had to uproot. Many times she had to uproot her dwelling place and what have you. Even though she was highly favored by God, she had to uproot and take a run and run. And I'm so glad that God used uh, not only Mary, but God used Joseph and God used many others. The church wouldn't be here today. Huh? If we had, if we didn't have a, a, a service who would humble themselves and allow God to use them, huh? Her peers even, there were those that who was jealous of her, her fiance Joseph would come close to leaving her. The 
Because when he came, he found Mary with child, pregnant with a child. Now, you can you imagine, man, what Joseph went through, walking back and forth, wondering and what have you. He didn't want the town gossip, so he put her away. She was highly favored, but yet still sometimes you can be highly favored by God, and yet still you will suffer trials and tribulation. I want you out there to understand whatever you're going through right now, just be patient and wait on the Lord and, let, and allow the Lord to speak to you and allow, allow the Lord to use you. That he is using me. Her son, Jesus, who would be rejected and murdered. But through her son will come the world of hope. We have our hope today because someone humbled himself. Someone humbled himself. Uh, and because they own themselves, we, don't, we not only have hope, but we have eternal life. We don't only have e e eternal life, but we have salvation. Salvation is to all because we had servants who was willing to be humble, to humble themselves and walk with God and listen to God when God speak. Praise God. Amen. So I stopped by this morning. Not that you're not letting God use you, but whatever talents you have, whatever gifts you have, let God use you. Let him use you. In the early church, the early church were used by God. I've never seen a church like the early church. The early church, after the day of Pentecost, they were used by God when the Holy Spirit came and dwell amongst them, and in them, uh, they became witnesses of God. Jesus told uh, the, the, the saints and the disciples, look, I don't want you to leave Jerusalem. I don't want you to leave Jerusalem, uh, but tarry right here. Tarry here until the Spirit, the Holy Spirit come. And then the Holy Spirit move upon you, and in you, and through you. You should be witnesses unto me. And you should be witnesses unto me in Judea, in Samaria, in the uttermost parts of the earth. You're going to tell the world that a Savior live. Hallelujah. Live so God can use you. And they went and they witnessed the world to the world. It wasn't easy. Many got killed. Many got locked up. Many got thrown in prison. But yet still, they were being used by God. Can you listen? The Bible, my Bible tells me that there will be trials and tribulation. So be of good cheer. Because I have overcome the world. When you allow God to use you, God will walk with you. He will talk with you. He will be with you because he promised us in his word. He said, Lord, Lo, I'll be with you always, even until the end of time. Can I get a witness? Jesus was another one uh, who was used by God. Can I get a witness? He came and brought salvation through 42 generations. Uh, and he tell the world, uh, he tell the world, if you believe uh, that I am uh, the son of the living God, uh, that I shall be saved. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, so I stopped by. This morning, church, uh, just to remind you, uh, why don't you let God, uh, let God use you, uh, that you might be a blessing uh, to the kingdom of God. Uh, many folk out there are not saved today, uh, and the question we ask you, uh, are you a witness? Uh, are you a witness uh, to the kingdom of God? Uh, tell the world uh, that Jesus, uh, that same Jesus uh, is coming back, uh, and he is coming back. For a church uh, without a spot uh, or a record. Message this morning. Live so God can use you. Our bodies is the temple of the Holy Spirit. God dwells in our body. He wants us to be sanctified and set apart for his service. A God using you. Are you witnessing the word of God? Are 
Are you telling others the message concerning salvation? And that Jesus, that same Jesus who walked the Sea of Galilee, he's coming back. He's coming back for a church without spot of river. Are you letting God use you? Are you telling others about our Lord and Savior? Are you telling them? We thank God this morning. We thank God for Jesus. We thank God for Jesus who, who, who was not ashamed and who came down. He said, prepare me a body and I'll go. That's what he said. I'll go and redeem man from the hands of the enemy. Prepare me a body and I'll go. God has prepared us a body. But are you going? Are you telling others the story? Hallelujah. Praise he the Lord. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, believe within thy heart, God, and raise Jesus from the dead for his sin. Thou shalt be saved. Why don't you come? It all the church is about saving souls. Saving souls. Saving souls. Are you running the errands for Jesus? Are you working in the vineyard? When was the last you told someone about the kingdom of God? When was the last you witnessed the word of truth? Jesus said that if I be lifted up, if I be lifted up, I will draw men unto me. Hallelujah. Are you living so God can use you? That can use Mary, that can use Joseph, that can use, that is to use Isaiah. As he used Abraham. As he used his disciples. Twelve disciples. And they turned the world upside down. Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you.